I have to recant my thinking on the NASCAR Top 35 rule, and it's not because of Danica Patrick. Kimi Raikkonen credits NASCAR for his return to Formula One. The Formula One teams unveil their 2012 cars ahead of tomorrow's Formula One testing in Jerez, Spain, and Takuma Sato lands at Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan. As if that was a secret, right? I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged. This Monday morning race report is brought to you by White Cloud Electronic Cigarettes. No ash, no mess, no smell, and most importantly, no guilt. I had to rethink my first blush opinion on the NASCAR Top 35 rule, but again, it wasn't because of Danica Patrick. It's because of the fact that Tommy Baldwin has got a huge break by becoming the Pluto on non-planet satellite teams. He's a great crew chief and now he's managed to score a deal that will no doubt have Stuart Haas and Hendrick Racing hovering around his efforts. They have to. Danica Patrick is a marketing machine. The second reason is James Finch and Phoenix Racing. Let's face it, without Kurt Busch coming on board, he wouldn't have scored the favor of Rick Hendrick. Finch is all but guaranteed to get the A motors and the good chassis, not to mention the notes from the mothership. It all means that if the top 35 rule didn't exist, neither of these deals might have come together. Although let's not forget that after the five races, it's every man or woman for themselves. Also be sure to catch Rob D'Amico and myself every Sunday morning from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Race Day on Fox Sports Radio. 250 affiliates, you can find us. In Formula One, Kimi Raikkonen has given his short tenure with NASCAR credit for motivating him back to Formula One. He said that racing in NASCAR got his blood flowing again because he actually got to drive against other people. That makes sense. Raikkonen is set to participate in the Formula One Jerez test in the new Lotus. Speaking of the new Lotus, Ferrari, McLaren, and Force India have shown their new cars prior to Jerez. McLaren so far is the only one not to have the so-called platypus nose. Tomorrow, the Formula One season begins with testing from Jerez, Spain. Will we find out anything concrete about where the cars stand? Doubtful. They never really show their first hand until the first race in Australia, and we'll keep you up to date. Former Formula One driver Takuma Sato signs his deal with Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan to drive the Honda-powered Delar for 2012. It wasn't a secret, but it was supposed to be. Sato's connections with Honda didn't hurt, nor did the fact that Bobby was the team principal for Jaguar, which became Red Bull. Well, that was before Nicky Lauda stabbed him in the back, and then Lauda got the shiv. Karma is a bitch. No word on who will pilot the second RLL entry. John Force has announced that he's pursuing a two-car top fuel effort to be driven by his two daughters, Ashley and Brittany. According to Force, he'll cut back to three funny cars and go with the two top fuel cars, but that may be two years away. Finally, this week, the tracks light up with the NHRA's first race of the year in Pomona, California, and it can't come too soon. For Motorsports Unplugged and White Cloud Electronic Cigarettes, I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you on Wednesday.